Good evening guys and girls and welcome to another Vintage Electronics Repair. It's another episode on the Rigonda. If I turn camera 4 around, because we may use camera 4 tonight. Uh, there we go. Let's have a look where camera 4 is aiming. Should be somewhere. Oops, wrong one. There we go. We want to aim it somewhere around the ballpark, don't we? About there. So that'll, that'll do us. That'll do us. Right. Well, basically, uh, we, we'll use camera four because uh, we don't need to look inside. We've got an aerial connected, a speaker connected. Uh, so, without further ado, Let's do the demonstration and get it demonstrated and you have to be careful doing this because the one thing you don't want to do is catch your hand on that power supply anywhere. I already had one shock off this, I don't fancy another one. There we are. What we'll do is turn it on. And there you see, I think one of our lights is out, is one of them out? Oh no, no, they're both on, they're both on. There we are, that's only on the crappy test speaker. That's FM. Not much of an aerial in it, folks. We go to automatic tuning. The automatic tuning isn't working. You can feel it vibrating through the knob when I turn it. So I'll look into it. Now, the problem we've got with medium wave is somebody's been at this before me. And bent some, of, bent, some, bent some of the plates in the tuner, and unfortunately I can't straighten them. See that crackle? Now it's back up, now it's not shorting now. Yeah, it's short and that was now I can do. Uh, short wave. Long wave. I'll have a look at saving them plates, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. The FM's good. I didn't know it did that. It actually uses a fire aerial. Can 
that. Well, how about that? I know it doesn't, with me turning the volume up and down with the aerial. Yeah, it's the volume, it turns, it turns the volume up and down with the aerial. So it means they must be too close together. But I need a bit of lubricant in them. No, it doesn't affect it, it's me turning the volume up with the aerial. leave it there guys uh, because we've got no load on the other channel and that's working to all intents and purposes there's not much I can do about that I don't think there's going to be much I'm going to do about the dodgy plates in the tuner because somebody's been there before me and played with them and you know, uh, it involves stripping the tuner out, and it's only probably going to be ever used on FM anyway, so that that can stay as it is. Uh, the the automatic tuning, I'll follow the wires for that, see where they end up, and see if we end up at a capacitor, uh, which is probably we do. <laughs> see if we end up. Uh, and we can do something about it. Yeah, so that's it, guys. We're nearly at the end of the Rigonda. We've got the record deck to do. But what I need to do, I need to pull the glass off, clean behind it. I need to have a quick look at the auto tuner. I'm losing my hair, guys. I need to look at the auto tuner to see if we can sort that out because it does. I would like that to be working if we can do it. If we can't, there's nothing we can do about it. But we'll try. Uh, see what the issue is. I'll have a look at the schematic and see what. It, well, I haven't got the schematic for that, have I? But I think the ball shoe. I think the ball shoe one is pretty much similar, so it might give me some ideas. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. But well, that's it for now guys on this and uh, um, I shall catch you tomorrow night for a live where we probably clean that and get it back in the, get the chassis back in the cabinet. Because uh, the, the chassis, there's not, not really any great need now. I'll have a look at the auto tuner. If I can't do it then I can't do it. But to all intents and purposes the amplifier's working, the radio's working. Um, the magic eye is dead there's nothing I can do about that I don't have a spare uh, 
but it all needs a good clean, it's full of dust. Them sir clips, I'm still not sure where they came from, I need to find out. Um, and I don't think that'll be the root of the problem. Because basically the motor's supposed to go one way and then the other way when you press the, the buttons at the side. There's one button to turn the motor on and the, the other buttons are to move the tuner across. Uh, you know, which well, is a bit of a gimmick really, but it's a nice gimmick to have. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there guys because there's not much else I can say. You all take it easy and I will catch you later. Bye for now folks. And thank you for tuning in. Oh, by the way, if anybody feels the need that they want to buy me a coffee, don't worry about it. Go ahead and do so. But you don't have to. It's all voluntary. There you go, guys. Uh, all spoke to Steve, and Steve's having fun with his girlfriend. They're in Wales at the moment. Uh, they've been to London. I mean, I don't know what it is with the Americans. They like to do Buckingham Palace. I mean, I think the reason for that is because they haven't really got anything like that of their own, have they? They've only got the White House and there's never any pageantry or anything there, is there? You know. So they, they like to come over and have a look at what we do. And we do it better than anybody else. Because we've got a, we're steeped in tradition. Right, you all take it easy, guys. And I will join you in the next one. Goodbye for now. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Bye for now.